Hi guys, it's Emma, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, then nice to meet you. I am a singer, songwriter, musician -y type, and this is where the music happens. I do a variety of music-based content, mainly a lot of songwriting and production stuff, and obviously stuff to do with my own original music that I am releasing, and that's what a lot of the current content is going to look like on this channel, because we have a new song out! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Um, by the time this video goes up, it should have been out for a little bit. A while ago, I obviously mean that it's actually been out for over a month now, because I did intend to put this video up sooner than this. Kept deciding to do other one instead. So, you definitely should have had a chance to listen to it by now, but if by some chance you are just stumbling upon this video and you have no idea who I am and what I'm talking about here, I have a new single out called It Doesn't Matter. It's available now to stream on all the various platforms and, um, all that stuff. And it is the second song off of an album that I'm working on. I put out the first single of this album over a year ago now called Baby Steps. If you want to go and stream that too, that'd be great. This is now the second single off that album. And if you want to go and listen to the song, if you haven't heard it already, it'll be linked in the description for you to go and find. So you will want to stream the song before watching this video because as much as I probably will play bits of it in this video, I'm not going to play the whole song. And the main premise of this video, if you didn't guess from the title, is that I'm basically going to go through how It Doesn't Matter came to sound like it did by comparing it to the the demo version, or in this case, multiple demo versions, because while I did this with Baby Steps, I did a demo versus the final version, and that had one demo that, I, that then became the final version. This one has four demos. Um, and by four demos, what I mean is it has the original demo that I took into the studio to give James an idea of what the song was going to sound like. And then it has three updates to that demo that I worked on as we were working on it in the studio and kept adding bits. Uh, because that's just the way that we have started working now. And we've been working on the whole album like that. And it's really working very well because sometimes I will have a very clear idea of what a song is going to sound like before I even go into the studio with it. And other times I, like with this one, I didn't even have a properly finished song. We'll see as we go through this first initial demo, um, because one of the first things you'll notice about it is that it's not complete in terms of vocals at all. Basically, that's how we work now. So there are four different versions of demos we're gonna work through here to have an idea of how the track built up. Um, and also, just so you guys know, there is gonna be this version that you guys are seeing right here. It's gonna be a shorter version of this video that I will put up for everybody to see on YouTube, but there will also be a longer extended cut version that I'm going to be putting up that um, will be shared exclusively with my Buy Me A Coffee people. So if you didn't know, I have a Buy Me A Coffee page. It's linked in the description below if you wanna go and check it out. Buy Me A Coffee is kind of like Patreon. You can subscribe to my membership on there, which gets you access to that sort of exclusive content. So in this case, this extra long version of this video will be one of the bits of content that you get from there. Or if you just want to support me monetarily, then you can send me one-off donations on there as well if you just want to support my music, basically. Anyway, if you'd like to see that extended version, there are yearly and monthly memberships on there, so you can just up, sign up for a month or every now and then, and you'll get access to all of the content, whatever fits in your budget, guys. Without further ado, let's talk all things It Doesn't Matter. So like I said, there are four demos that we're gonna go through. This is the first one, um, and as I, as I said already, the main thing you'll notice about this is the fact that it's, it's not got lyrics and even melodies in certain points. So let's just have a, play, a little playthrough of it, what it sounds like. Makes me want to run, kick, scream, and shout, and it all down for the cobwebs away. It's also got some very dodgy vocal takes on it. Ignore those. <laughs> Did you hear that then? Did you hear that? Could you recognize that that is the, that's the guitar part, but that's me going no, 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 no. And that's what was on this for ages. Anything that actually sounds like someone playing guitar and not just someone playing a note on guitar, that's not me, that's Ben. Um, ben from Nova Story, if you guys know Nova Story, he's the uh, guitarist on this song. I'm the rhythm guitar on it, the just strumming chords, that's, that's me on both the electric and the acoustic, that's me. Um, but all of the lead guitar on this is Ben. There were actually lyrics there, I've just forgotten them. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. There are. The, I did actually have the lyrics for that bit written already. I as I was recording in this guide vocal, I completely forgot what they were. So and I didn't bother redoing it. It's like it doesn't matter. It's not the final version. I've got them written down. I know how they go. This is just a demo. I can't be bothered redoing it. So I didn't redo it. The rest is mute because there's nothing there yet. I hadn't written it. Stars in my eyes. So this is the first bit, like, I knew how this was going to go. I knew the melody, you can hear that. You can hear I've got a melody there, but I didn't have any lyrics yet. Okay, so the other big thing that we can pick out of this that you can actually hear in the final version, and we'll, I'll do a direct comparison now so that you can hear what I'm talking about here. Really concentrate on the bass here is what you want to listen to. And if you listen here. I wrote that bass part. Hey! <laughs> so yeah, I d that bass part was one of the things I knew from the start I wanted on this song. I wanted that. I came up with that really quickly when I was working on this demo. Um, and it's one of the things I think I like most about So I really love the bass on this song. That's sound gonna sound really arrogant given that I'm saying I wrote that, but it was Ben also did a really great job of the bass on this. But I was quite proud of that that bass part um, and then there are other sections that obviously because obviously you can hear um, that dun, dun, dun. we've got Ben doing fancier stuff on the final version that is a bit different so uh, that's around here isn't it oh, how you can sleep when you're dead oh, so instead of dun, 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 dun. instead of that just oh I can't I can't do it now <laughs> So, do, do, do. He did a do, 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 with a little <laughs> a little sliding action uh, going on. He fancied he fancied a lot of it up, um, but the core bass you can hear is in this original demo. So that was there from pretty much day one of me working on the demo before I'd finished the lyrics. I had written an entire bass part that I wanted in. Well, not an entire bass part, because obviously I've left off this little bit. That's just cause the last chorus, it doesn't matter. Anyway, that's the first demo, really. I don't think there's much point really listening to much else, because obviously the lyrics aren't in there. Um, it wasn't really finished. That is what I had for the initial demo. That then went in the studio with me, and we laid down the guitar, drums, and the bass. So the bass is now on this, and as you can see, this new demo version has studio track in it, and this is this track is everything that we did in the studio. We've also done electric guitars on this, apparently. So apparently there's already me strumming in some electric guitar stuff on this. So this was quite a while after that initial demo, because we basically tracked guitar and drums and bass on everything, was the first few things we did. And I've obviously left the it's got the same version of the vocal on it but by this point i am certain i had finished the vocal um i just hadn't recorded it in yet i have actually finished the lyrics by this point but i didn't bother redoing this guide vocal demo 2 is basically just here for this track that you can see here that says lead guitar and I, you guys just have to hear this this is why i didn't play the guitar on the single right okay <laughs> I played this in because I wanted to be able to give it to Ben so that he could hear it and be able to tell him like how to play it and then I just I couldn't play it but yeah I laid it down because I wanted to get that idea down and r work out what it actually was on guitar and try and give it to Ben and then this demo wound up really not being used for much this second demo but demo three had a bit more point to it because demo three we were starting to get somewhere by this point we'd recorded the electric guitar in which is why it's not on this the electric guitar is no longer on here I just deleted it because um, I didn't need it anymore because we'd recorded it in. It's not on the studio track yet at this point because we hadn't comped it. But this demo, the purpose of this demo, as you can see, one, I've redone the vocals so that you can see now there are bits actually in the verses now. So we've got the verses down. 
Um, and I have done all of the harmonies and the ad libs. So yeah, I needed to work out before I went in the studio and did all the vocals where we were gonna have harmonies, where we were gonna have ad libs, what they were gonna be, rough ideas at the very least. Let's listen to all these harmonies and ad libs. I sleep this morning, flop the wrong side of bed. Now the stars in my eyes and a bump on my head. Oh, oh, oh. And I'm still yawning, but it's full steam ahead. Cause something about how you can sleep when you're dead. Oh, oh, oh. So obviously I've added in all of these harmonies and ad libs at this bit. Um, and literally everything I've put on here does end up going on on the end. And I just, I wanna play this bit at the end. Cause I think I actually put even, there are even more layers for the bridge bit that I'm about to play you on the final version because everything is doubled up more. Um, whereas I didn't bother doubling them here because I just had to get the ideas done. Doesn't really matter, you wish it didn't matter. It shouldn't really matter, cause no one thinks it matters. It doesn't really matter, it shouldn't really matter. Cause all that really matters is what we decide matters. So what do you think matters? Cause all that really matters is what we agree matters. And don't that make you wanna run? run. So you can hear it there already. Obviously, I've also, in the studio, I've actually gotten those correct <laughs> and in in tune and sounding better than they do there. Um, but yeah, I had all of those ideas hashed out and I literally was j going back and forth from the vocal booth, listening to the next harmony part I needed to do, coming back in, recording it and go back out. Okay, so final demo. We thought we had the final version when I did this demo, not gonna lie. Um, I took away what is a fully mixed version of uh, It Doesn't Matter, almost identical to how it sounds on the final version that you hear, that was supposed to be, I just needed to listen to it through and figure out the final tweaks in the mix. And there were a few final tweaks in the mix that I spotted as I was listening through to it. The big one that you'll hear is there's a pad synth in there that we've put on that is a lot louder on this version than it is on the final version. That was one of the only big tweaks that we really made to it. Um, but as I was listening to it and thinking about the small little tweaks to the mix, I was thinking that it, that it was still just missing something. There was something not there that needed to be there that was gonna give it that driving energy that it didn't have. It just, it, something wasn't pushing through right. And in the end, I, as you can see, added two more bits of MIDI to this that then completed the track and gave us the final version. Hey! Loud. I sing this morning, flap the wrong side of bed. Now the stars in my eyes, and a bump on my head. And you can see there's a synth, there's a guitar synth I've put, and there's the grand piano. Um, the first big thing I I was listening to it through, and I was just thinking that guitar is sounding like it sounds really good as a guitar but there's something missing from it. And I wasn't sure if it was an effect that needed to be put on the guitar or, and I decided to just have a play with it and see if it actually needed something else accompanying it to help it drive through that mix a bit more in a way that was still nice and light. Um, so I decided to pop this synth that sounds like this. It sounds so different out of the mix. Like, Cause it is exactly that synth, just it's, it's it's been mixed in, so we did some EQ and stuff to it as well. It might not be, actually. I might be lying there. We might have come found a, a, a synth sound that was almost identical. I think it is that synth, though. I think we just used the audio file in the end. Anyway, it sounds like that out of the mix, and then you throw it in with the guitar. And doesn't it sound so different? And then the other thing I was thinking was that it was just missing something in the instrumental, in the verses in particular. And I thought that what it was missing was it was missing something very pop sounding in those verses that sort of uh, played off against the guitar a bit more. And I realized that a lot of the J-pop that I listened to, this is why I decided to add this, was I was literally listening to J-pop constantly all week this week. And a lot of the J-pop I was listening to that I was thinking, I really want to get that sound in this track, but rockier, what's it missing? And I realized that a lot of them are written on piano and they're very piano based and they have quite often quite prominent piano parts or they'll have 
um, the piano being the main sort of rhythm instrument in it. And when guitar is your main rhythm instrument versus when piano is your main rhythm instrument, it, it really changes the feel of a track. And I think that piano can quite often give you that sort of light, bouncy pop sound to something more. That nice driving pop sound in the way that uh, acoustic guitar either gives you more of a chill vibe or it gives you more of a gritty vibe. It can do light and bouncy, like it's doing light and bouncy very well in baby steps, but here it wasn't really doing that light and bouncy. So it needed some light and bouncy. And so I decided to just I sting this morning, flap the wrong side of bed. Now the stars in my eyes, I don't bump on my head. Now Pop some piano in. So you can hear in this the J-pop influence, I think. Which is nice because whenever I was a kid thinking about what I wanted to create in terms of music, I was always leaning towards a lot of those sorts of genres. But that sort of pop rock sound that you get from My Chem um, and other bands like them, that was the style of music that I listened to a lot as a kid and that I wanted to recreate. And I, when I pictured my music, what it sounded like, it sounded like it should be an anime theme song, but it also sounded like it could be a soft acoustic ballad. Just to finish off, uh, there were a couple of little things that we did in the studio that you hear on the final track that obviously aren't in any of these demos. So one I already mentioned before, that synth, that pad synth was something that we just decided to add in the studio. And then the other thing. It doesn't really matter, you wish it didn't matter, shouldn't really matter, no one thinks it matters, it doesn't really matter. Can you hear the electric guitar in the bridge part there? Um, which is actually just a section, because we didn't record this. We just recorded those um, two, those, uh, those uh, bits in the intro and after the choruses, that part Ben did, um, we just recorded that. And then I decided that it'd be nice to have snippets of that in the bridge. And luckily we were able to make it work by just cutting the section that we wanted and popping it in the bridge, repeating like that. And we stuck a load of delay and reverb on it and it was exactly what that bridge part needed just as a finishing little touch but that was a finishing little touch that i sort of came up with in the back of my mind i was thinking about at home like that might work but i didn't bother really doing it i thought we'll go into the studio and we'll play around with it and so we sat and we play around with that in the studio and it stuck because it worked that is how it doesn't matter came from being a song that i literally just as i always do wrote just acoustic guitar and vocals um and became this a pop rock synthy, guitar-y oomphiness that it is today. I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed learning about the process of how I actually slowly built up this song and where the different parts came from and what was coming from that first demo. I think it's cool to be able to hear some of the things that you guys would never have known were stuff that I had on that first demo if I didn't do a video like this um, that are in there. Uh, and that made it all the way to the end and then other things that just ended up completely changing before the end. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, then check out the rest of my channel and consider hitting that subscribe button because that's what I do here. And obviously, if you haven't heard it already or you just want to go and stream it again because you're amazing and you want me to make the pennies that you make from streaming, <laughs> then head to the link in the description to go stream. It doesn't matter everywhere. And if you'd like to see the extended version of this video where I ramble even more about my thought processes, like the arrogant, self-obsessed person that I am uh, <laughs> then you can check that out on my buy me a coffee membership if you would like to like I said at the start of the video that is linked in the description as well as well as links to all of my social media where you can find out what I'm doing the rest of the time when I'm not making these videos and there was one more thing what is it oh a link to my other channel if you just want to see me do random art stuffs so I shall say toodles guys Bye.